Hey everyone, welcome to Streaming with Steven, where we are going to be doing a bit of drawing today, and 
I've been having a hard time getting to Big Salty Pond in the last little while, so I've decided to actually do that on today's stream. So I apologize. This is my first time using my new microphone arm and the new, um, I guess, webcam arm here. You can see it's, I'm just bumping it a little bit here. So just ended up having to figure out things a little bit longer than usual. So um, yeah, so far we've got almost all of the drawings sketched. And so basically this is everything so far and I'm not going to spend too, too much time on this because uh, it'll be available posted on Patreon this evening for patrons who uh, have access to the sketching. But essentially this is everything so far. And I've, I've in intentionally... Cool, thanks Stegosaurus. I intentionally um, did not include any of the text in it just because I don't want to give away the joke of the entire thing before before everything goes live. So, oops, there we go. So, <laughs> in this one, there are, um, as you can see in the first image here, they've got a bunch of remora fish or sucker fish stuck to them, and they're looking pretty snazzy here. And so then, um. I sort of regret it <laughs> a little bit because um, in the last image, or later on, as you can see, these uh, the remora are no longer playing as nicely as they did at the beginning. So um, it means a lot of drawing extra fish flying, floating all over the place, and I sort of wish I hadn't have done that. So either way, that is where we are, and so. Uh, make sure I've got all my brushes set properly. Sketch. Cool. So essentially we're going to draw or sketch out this uh, this last panel of the episode and then we'll be inking it in. Oops. Cancel. Wrong layer. Cancel. There we go. The one thing I, I like paint... Uh, procreate quite a bit but one thing I don't like is sometimes it catches my palm when I put it down and sees that me trying to do something and it starts to undo the last thing I did when which is a, a drag because sometimes I've got the lines exactly the way I want them and then it's a uh... so the, the I guess it's not a drag that it und undoes it the drag is that I've got it set up a certain way. Or no, I've got the line the way I want it to. I hit undo by accident right before I go to draw another line. So it doesn't remember the way it was because I, it's essentially I did an undo and then drew over top of it. Yeah, it's like a source this, uh, the camera, the secondary camera is basically because for a while there I was sort of, I was gesturing at my drawing with my hands and nobody could actually see what I was drawing, uh, gesturing at. So this way it also allows people, gives people a glimpse at, you know, I can, I can sort of lift it up and sort of point to the specific area if that's what I want to highlight. Whereas beforehand it was a little harder to see on the screen. I'm not sure how much of the comic we're going to get done today, but essentially we're going to play around with this and uh, get as much done as possible in, before 10 o'clock, which is the end of the stream. And I mean, we'll get, we'll be able to get all of the sketching done, so I'm not too worried about that. And just the, the next step after the sketching is going to be the outline. And I don't know how much of the outline will get done. You just did another undo. Knock it off. Hey, Firepiff, welcome to the chat. And, uh, to uh, say hello and welcome to the chat to Frostburn earlier as well. Thank you for doing a little bit of admin work on changing the the game to drawing or art. Much appreciated. Sometimes I draw the uh, the mouth going down a little bit too soon, like I did that last time right there, and I don't leave enough room for the teeth. So every once in a while, I just gotta draw the teeth first, and then you're good. So I've, drew, I've drawn these, these two probably, probably say hundreds of times now, even though I'm only on episode probably 30 some, 
or 20 some each episode has multiple panels in it therefore multiple drawings of the shark so it's pretty cool hey cosmic welcome to the chat it is an art stream indeed we do in a big salty pond i mean i've done some rough sketches of them before for the emotes and things like that but this is essentially a this is a little bit how the comic is coming comes together so i may start doing this more often because i've been really having a struggle well i guess part of it is because i've been busier than expected and then also headaches have been annoying and annoyingly present so i haven't been getting as much done in big salty pond as i want so i might just start drawing big salty pond at least twice a month on here and that'd be pretty cool I apologize, actually I should scroll through the chat here. I don't think I missed anyone. No, we're good. So welcome, welcome. Or if I did miss anybody, I apologize. And as far as I can tell, we got... It's Stegosaurus, Frostburn, and Firepith, and Cosmic. Oh, before I forget, we have a... Um... I think we mentioned this before, but a battle coming... A Minecraft battle coming up tomorrow. It's going to be a cross... Uh, post stream between Alistair McFly and I, and we are battling with the great Cosmic Dancer and Anna the Dev. <laughs> it's tomorrow at six o'clock. Uh, it's you can do it normally, Stegosaurus, but uh, admittedly they don't really go well with this stream, and it's just I'm also surprise, surprise headache today so just decided to I guess give my brain a break and not feel the need to do that so they'll be back they'll be back on Tuesday I won't, they won't, won't be present during the battle because we'll be focusing I'll be focusing on not dying <laughs> go figure but then they'll be back Tuesday's child will be back, we'll be back on Tuesday as will hottie boy etc It's not that I don't want to have the fun of those, it's just who tired. Who tired. Mysticuffs to the death. That's right. <laughs> oh, a cosmic. Actually, I'm not sure if Alistair's still um online or if you're able to message him in Discord forgot uh, Frostburn had an idea he was wondering if on the off chance we one of us one of the two teams does run out of armor and weapons and stuff like that he suggested putting a chest full of swords inside the uh, the room as well and that way you could even though we wouldn't have any armor left it's not like it'll be people trying to punch people with armor you could actually still come out and do some damage I think is a pretty good idea so <laughs> i didn't even think now we raise the pointy thing instead <laughs> exactly too right my man too right or my stegosaurus i should say yeah. so right stay so right Mm -hmm. And we're doing the back fin here. The first little while, I, I part of it that every once in a while I feel like these, see these under, I call these layers the skeletons. Sometimes I feel like they're cheaty, but the reality is I would get their proportions mixed up sometimes, and I would have either Gillis way smaller than he should be, or I'd have Meg, or I'd have them too close to the same size. So then doing these skeletons like this, I can keep them all within proportion to each other, which. And super handy. Super duper handy. And also the, uh, again, it feels a bit cheaty, but I've been sort of stealing sketch layers from different panels in here uh, because I want the, right now Gillis is wearing a dress, and so I want his dress to be the same length in all of them. And the, uh, 
and the neckline coming down at exactly the same point and stuff so i don't i didn't want that jumping all over the place so by copying and pasting and then redrawing it it's been a lot a lot more consistent as well it sounds like a good idea yeah just got off discord call with him and megan but i can drop a message in the group chat cool is megan available tomorrow or All right, uh, I find this little uh, Boris Love is there, but it's only available to people who have who have um, unlocked the uh, what's it called? Bit level or cheer level one thousand, because there, there's only actually certain certain ways you can create emotes it's not like i can't i don't have the uh oops changed color which doesn't allow me to just create emotes and say here you go everyone everything is behind something paid so um oh cool, nice oops that's not what i want the shark hype is Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that. Okay, so no, Boris Love is not unlockable by viewpoints. So he's only tied to... So he's only buyable, I guess. Hey, Alistair. Look away, my friend. Look away. Nice. Oh, we've been talking about doing Big Salty Pond for a while. Just thought it might be a fun thing to get out here. And then... And this is the opportunity. Uh, <laughs> this opportunity brought to you the fact that I am way behind. These uh, these two aquatic dudes on the left, on the right, are not impressed. Meg's not always the uh, the friendliest of underwater creatures, and this time, unfortunately, they are suffering the consequences a little bit, along with her. I find crossing crossing arms aka crossing fins a strange thing to draw essentially I have to have them come across their bo body in a way that looks like they're crossed over even though there's not really any way these fins could cross so it's funny because I have to just have one of them swoop down and essentially be laid across their belly and the other one come along and look like it just stops short so really the fins aren't crossed they're just over overlapping ever so slightly Maybe next time we do a drawing, we'll bring Eggman back because Eggman would probably be pretty easy to do while I'm trying. But I think the sing along and maybe Hottie Boy as well, but the sing along might be weird. I realize my face is closer to the microphone than usual this time. Is it too loud? Should I point it down? Is it, is it fine? Volume seems fine. Thank you, uh, Mr. Firepit. Thank you. The mustachio on the man. Fine for you, Swastikasaurus. Thank you. Thank you. 
Will we get Art of Igmund? Oh, right. I forgot we did talk about that. Um, yes. You know what? We should do that. Maybe depending on how uh, far along I am with the uh, big salty pawns that I owe. You know, we should just do that maybe next Sunday. Let's aim for that next Sunday unless something else comes up. That's the plan. That's the plan, y'all. I have no idea what a <laughs> Igmin looks like. And here's the thing as well with these with these drawings. I've been having certain remora fish leave their face in certain spots. So when I draw Gillis, I am going to have to go back to the previous time Gillis was there and make sure I don't accidentally add one back here when I've already removed it from there. So, wait, we have Sir Rupert Fen Fenton Fulfright the Third. Looks like uh, actually Sir Rupert. Uh, Benton, forthright, forthright, the third. Oh, I forget. Oh, right. The Rupert Fenton, forthright, the third. Please to make you. That's all good. You were close, actually, from memory. I I rarely ever remember. That's why we have. <laughs> that's why we have that command there. So you did a better job of remembering than I did. All right. Now for this sipping tea while we're live, let's do some drawing. And one of the nice things about these skeletons that I've got built in as well is I use this line for the second from the top gill. So it's also a very kind of quick reference point that I can come in and just draw it. And I think I mentioned this, these things a little bit as well when I was doing the, the emotes. And then the top and the fin is that in between these two circles here. So right there, the fin attaches to the white line because on a shark, this is a bad drawing. Dark. Um, they're like essentially a third white on the bottom, and then their their fins join off the white part, so that just helps them blend into the water. So that bottom of their belly is white, and then so the underside of their their fin is white as well. So that's why it joins right on. Racy, racy, racy. So by doing these kind of key points. Uh, it allows me to essentially I know that where those two circles join that's where the fins join up as well so I can always remember that and then halfway down the circle here is where the other fins supposed to uh, join so if they came off if one of the fins were to come off like that I never like how thick it is actually sort of what I'm aiming for but I'll, I'll usually cut it down like that and then the the back fin is usually on a night well it's not usually I always do it on a 90 degree angle from basically if the circle underlying circle had a corner on it there that's the back fin like that so this is sort of your standard structure so allows you to draw it a little bit quickly and this one because gillis is facing gillis's body is facing this way but oops but his face is facing the other way so he's going to be a little bit twisted so he'll be the back fin wouldn't be sticking out nearly as far, just something like that. And the gills are, are different as well, so I could probably have two of them visible. Top one, second one, but then these two would be in behind the, uh, in behind his back. And the tails, I try to stay consistent with those, but they're... The back fin looks a little bit off. Yeah, I messed that one up. It was, I mean, the 90 degree angle is good. I just made it go to, should be down or up here. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, another step of tea. And 
then for the tail, it's 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 two right angle triangles. I usually try to make them the same size as this. So whatever you know that length is, I try to make that the same length as that one there. And then it's I'm not sure if that's I forget is that an equilateral right angle tri or triangle in the sense, and I try to make this length the same. Sorry, whatever this length is, I try to make that the same here. And then for the, because in the shark, the, the back fin is longer, then I usually try to extend that twice the distance, whatever this is. Make that go twice that. And these are not necessarily realistic short shark proportions. Short proportions. It's just a way to allow myself to draw it quickly. It's pretty close to, uh, it's a cartoon, so I have some creative liberties, but I try to find a way to make find shortcuts or quick ways to draw things consistently. Yeah. Twist, twist, twist. And then give it, this is where it's a little bit tough because I, again, I usually rely on what the back fin is, but the back fin's not that short. It's usually about, you know, Gillis is, I think, literally two thirds the size of Meg, so sometimes I have to rely on what I've drawn for Meg for the tail size. Or I have to rely on what I've drawn for one of them for the tail size for the other. And you can't see the back fin. And then since Gillis is twisted, it's not going to be a side-on view of the tail. So it's... I always find it's a sort of angle in the tail weird, but it's, it's what it would be. Essentially, since we're viewing Gillis slightly more from the front, and the front part of the tail would go like this a little bit, and the back tail would kind of go in behind. Exactly like that, but. There we go. All right. Now we're going to go to the previous time we see Gillis. So we can steal the sketch layer. Merge that down. So it should have been. And you can copy that. Um. Well, I've always had. Thanks for asking, Stegosaurus. I'm actually overall I'm okay. I just I've had headaches my entire life, and I've gone in and I've gotten CAT scans and MRIs and tests done and they've given me medication I just I'm just headache prone which is a, re a real drag because it's not like I there's no fix so basically if it's too hot out I can get a headache if it's cold out I can get a headache if the temperature changes too quickly I can get a headache if the impending weather pressure is too high or if it gets too high then I can get a headache or if I sleep funny so it's all kinds of annoying stuff and I don't know why that is thankfully no one else in my family it's headaches like this. It's a drag that I sort of get taken out of the day. Uh, I could have a, di a day be a complete write off because of migraines and things, which I do not like. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Right. Uh, sketching. So, Gillis has one, two on top, on the side. Actually, let's uh, this way back. Actually, the skeleton, that's the problem. Okay, why does this look so busy? Skeletons are in the way a little bit here, so let's get rid of those. And we'll go to the sketching. And we'll steal the, uh, the dress, or at least where the um, right layer, yeah. Where the ribbon line is. We'll just go like this. And get the upper ribbon, bottom ribbon. So yeah, but thanks for asking there, Stegosaurus. It's not that, um, as far as I know, nothing major wrong. It's just been, I think I've always been there in my life. And then we'll do 
neckline's gonna be like that. That. One across. And I think I'm going to leave these top two. Kind of like, maybe I'll keep the two stuck on the side for now because they look ridiculous. Oh wait, I forgot Gillis's body. Darn it, Gillis's body is facing the other way. So that dress is completely incorrect. And paste, and then flip it. No, it's not gonna work. All right, actually, let's try. And doing that, which we just did, so unfortunately get rid of the sketch lines that we had. And I'm gonna just duplicate the ins insert image layer and we're gonna flip that. There we go, that's a better idea of where the the neckline and the dress and things will go. Cool. Go back to you sketching. Let me try something here. I'm just going to uh oops. Fill this layer in white to see if I can make it easier to discern between the two layers. I find when everything is the same color it's a little bit hard. So this way if I can see that the white the layer I'm copying then cool. And if anyone plays around with Procreate at all this I didn't realize this right away and I uh, my wife actually found this out in a video before I knew I believe it was. So if you turn on alpha lock you can see there's a transparent um, might be hard to see but so these checkered pattern and the layer means it's a transparent layer now so i'm right now i'm only if i can only affect the parts that are inked in so if i try to paint over here or over there it's not going to do anything because it's only the parts that are inked in likewise if i switch to gold i can then switch all of, like anything that's been inked in so far i'm making that goldish sandy color that i've got so it's just kind of a nice way to if i just want to color some areas and in a different color it works well for them uh, all right now switch back to sketching black and dunk. all right and if i want to then and then basically because there are white lines if i wanted to use them exactly i could just draw over them oops that's not the right way that line's going The white line. If I if I'm drawing over the white line, then I know that I've kind of taken care of it already. I guess that line's going to be hidden underneath. Ends. Something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. And so that I, mean, I only ever. I shouldn't say only, I al almost only ever copy the sketch lines because I like to have the lines look a little bit, at least somewhat unique so that when I draw the, the clean version of the lines, I don't actually reuse those. I think I've used them a couple of times just to, you know, to have the, keep the gag. If I'm trying to make someone's look, uh, face look like it's completely frozen from one frame to the next, I may do a straight copy and paste, but not too frequently actually well, that's good so i'll have to drag them down like like that so we'll still see the fin we'll have the we'll follow the body curve the curve of the shark's body right to the bottom of the fin then we'll curve out cosmic speaking of headaches i can feel it oh no no worries cosmic um have yourself a wonderful night and hopefully you can wake up with pain-free. It's always my hope whenever I go to bed with a headache is I can do it pain-free or wake up pain-free. So 
Have a wonderful night, and I will see you in the VOD tomorrow. Alright. Sorry, going back to what you had asked earlier, um, Stegosaurus, about Boris Love not being available. I hadn't quite realized that that was the case. I assumed all of them would be available. It looks like only the... The subscription tier ones are available, which is a bit of a drag. However, it makes me want to create two new ones. I was thinking that no one would ever be able to use them, so what's the point? But now that you raise the good point of them being rewards, that I could actually make two ones that are two of them that are fun, that are not necessarily available to everyone all the time because they're meant for tier two and tier three people, but. You could use your points on them, so. Perhaps one of these streams we will do another one, or... I'm not even sure what to do the next couple ones. I have to figure that out still. That's pretty good, I think. Oops. That dress looks pretty good. It looks like he's un unimpressed. Unimpressed, but snazzily dressed. I should dress, I guess, or is alright. Actually, I should, you know what? I should make a list of things to draw. I'm, hang on. Getting. Nope. This is not a very good notepad, this is just a temporary one. But what I should do is actually get a notepad of things to draw, so... So what was the other things we said? So sorry, um, right. Boy. Sigmund. And... A Stegosaurus. Warp, that's... <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to read that next time for Stegosaurus, so... There you go. I think what happened is my brain forgot how to write it, so it just started to scribble it. Alright, so we got Howdy Boy, Igmund, and Stegosaurus. Notepad. Even though it's not the best notepad, I can see where I see it. Well, that, that's good. Alright. Alright. Quick, quick sip of tea. Okay, now... We don't need the white sketch anymore, but we need this one to figure out the hair. I'm just going to delete the, the white image. Duplicate this one again, because I want to rotate it so I can get the head aligned. All right, so we've got a couple of fish hanging on the back off the back of Kelsey's head here. Oops, and we want sketching again. Hooray! You've got you've got shark uh shark hype. Woot woot! I think I'm going to leave one of these two fish here. that one there the one in the very top in the middle this is not a great look for him this is why we've chosen it
Alright, so that's all I needed from that one, so I can delete that now. There's kind of buggy me, it looks like he's bent weird, so I think we're just gonna have to fudge it a little bit to make it. Instead of bulging it, we'll just make it come straight down, that's better. Oops. Thanks, Alistair. Yeah, I know it's it's fun to uh, it's, I've sort of sort of had this on my uh, to do list for streaming for a little while now. So it's kind of nice, <laughs> forced to do it because of deadlines, but still nice to be able to show it finally too. I always felt like I couldn't show it here either because it was. I felt all the, the special stuff should be Patreon only, but now that I've sort of mer merged my Patreon, it's no longer just a big salty pond Patreon, it's even ESC, so I feel like I can showcase this over here as well. I'll unlock the Stegosaurus emote every single stream. Noise. Oh, cool. Well, the subscribing thing, so what I'll do is I'll make it a, uh, a tier two subscription thing so you won't be able to get it right right away stegosaurus because i don't actually have enough subscribers in order to uh unlock uh, more it's 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 weird oh. Hold on. right layer right layer so right now um like i said everything for twitch is being everything's sort of locked behind a pay thing it's because twitch makes money and people subscribe so so right now with the number of su subscribers I have, I can do one emote um, and that's it. So as my subscriber number goes up, then it will unlock more subscriber emote slots. And I think that like Joel, for example, I'm not sure if you follow Joel Duggan. He, um, I think he has, oops, I think I had it myself here. I think he has five emote slots unlocked. So it's, um, yeah, essentially at subscription level one, people can get five emotes because he's having, a, he has enough people paying and Twitch is like, well, if you have enough people paying, we'll just open up more slots. No big deal. And you can also do tier two subscriptions, which I think is $12.99 a month or something like that, but you don't really get anything extra. It's just for doing appreciation to a streamer so if, so what I'll do is I I will I will make it a tier 2 subscription nice so essentially the uh the one month or the um I'll make it a tier 2 subscription thing so even though you won't be able to get it without subscribing to use uh, level 2 you'll still be able to use your points to get it which I think will be nice and then as more slots open up, what I'll do is I'll just essentially slide them from tier two down to a regular one, and then I'll create new tier two ones. I got a system in my head that may not have come out as, a cl that, as clearly as I see it in my head, so I apologize, but. Actually, I'm gonna have this, this dude with his arms crossed as well, because he, He's not impressed either. Their evening plans have been thwarted by the Meg. A little messy there. We better, we better clean it not too important that the sketch be clean because it's they're just the lines that I draw I draw over with the clean clean lines later on so even though I draw something in sketch it doesn't mean it's going to be exactly what I exactly the line that I follow when I draw it every once in a while I draw one of their tails when I'm sketching and go yep looks good enough then I go on to the clean lines and as I'm doing that I go oh that proportion's a little bit wrong so I draw it better all right 
I get the other thing on the other side. So it usually comes down around there. The Meg. That's right. Um, I forget. I mean, Meg's wearing a bola. They're not a bola, a boa. They're boa. Size of it. So I'm just gonna do a quick copy and paste from this one. Copy. Like I say, I'm gonna need. No, oh, I don't need that one actually. So we'll delete that. Paste. Move that up. There we go. All right. Uh, what if you subscribe with Prime Tier One, then you'll get access to, um, you get access to the level one emotes. The emotes, but in this case, the only emote that I have that's Tier One is Shark Type. So then, as I like I said, as I get more subscribers, what I'll do it'll open up more emote slots, and then I'll make sure that. The um, the ones that are I've currently have for tier oops tier two and tier three will become the new oh, stop it the new uh, the additional tier one emotes. So you uh, also with subscribing to uh, to Prime tier one you don't have to watch ads either. It's like you've paid for the ads already, so you don't watch ads. Oops, wrong layer. Wrong layer. I'm just going to do this roughly and then I'll just draw it in afterward. Meg's fin joins on right there. It's coming down in behind. Grabbing onto the bola. If we're getting all of the stuff that's behind the bow, and I would keep, my brain keeps going, why does it look so busy? Almost every single time I've done this, it just feels like it's extra detail that doesn't need to be there, and I haven't figured out why yet. I always go, oh, right, that's um, not supposed to be there. A small thing it doesn't have to be this way but let's since it's going to tuck under there have it go in and stick it and then come in so if we do a stegosaurus we'll have to think about that stegosaurus might be um hard to uh render it as an emote because that's going to be it's i believe 28 uh yeah i think 28 by 28 pixels that's teeny tiny we'll have to figure it away okay let's let's do this before i commit to actually doing a stegosaurus as an emote i'm going to have to see if i can make it work i'll still draw it one of these times it's a great idea for a drawing As an emote, I just don't know if it'll work. It's funny for... I have the uh, notifications... Actually, I suppose I could turn notifications completely off. I'll do that one of these times, but... I'm gonna worry about it too much. I shall just dismiss them quickly. Just 
because if that's where that fist comes, then roughly where that fin would come out. It's probably going to be hugging the boa like that. Okay. It's funny, I like the pretzel music chill one. But every once in a while I wish they were <laughs> songs that I knew if I'm going to be humming along to stuff. It's nice to know a tune or two, but if you use music that you do not own, you get slapped. Legally slapped, anyway. I don't know if I like, I like that's going to come in. Right now she's a little bit, or she's got a little beady eye right there, so she's a little bit stressed. So I think there's going to be a tighter grip. We'll have it be tighter like this and pull in the boa. No, oh, I think it's a great idea, Stegosaurus. I'm going to, I will try. That's, that's a fun thing though. It's like, there's no... There ain't nothing wrong with trying. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But we'll give it a go. And I think that's all. I think that's all. Oh no, Gillis has eyelashes right now. That reminds me, I need to go back and uh, make sure he's got them throughout because I think that's going to be an easy one to forget because he doesn't usually have. Uh, eyelashes. Yep. 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 Cool. I have to make sure that Meg keeps hers as well. Oh, she doesn't have them there. I do forget hers occasionally. scrunched. I usually try to stick my lashes on there anyway. I don't know if it'll look right. Perhaps not in this case. Yeah, I mean, it'd be consistent. Oh, and then this dude needs to have eyebrows. Okay, let's at the beginning of this, uh, Francis has a couple of remora for eyebrows, and so as they disappear, I need to make sure I put regular eyebrows in. This one's a bit of a joke, like he's so surprised that the remora eyebrows are raised up. And here he lost one of them. Lost it. And he's got two eyebrows, two eyebrows, and then there. Okay, so we did miss them. Oh, CJ is ready with a party of two. Awesome. Well, welcome, CJ. I'm not sure if you can see this yet, but uh, thank you, thank you. CJ Raid. Hey, Rebel A, welcome. CJ, how's it going? All right, we're going to do a quick shout out to, shout out to Steed J R V William. I believe was just playing Minecraft. Get that right? Uh, oh, I did it wrong. Ha ha ha. RV Willie. Funny, instead of doing the shout out, it just goes, So, PJR Williams. <laughs> What's shaking? Uh, we're working on my webcomic today, which is uh, Big Salty Pond, and. I haven't been able to get to it in the last little while, so since Sunday is my drawing stream, I figured I would bring a big old salty pond to the stream. 
pretty much, pretty much. How are you today? And CJ, welcome, welcome. Did you finish off? Did you finish off the windmill? I saw that you were about to do that, but I wasn't able to make it over. Out of finishing, touches complete. Uh, we're gonna steal this sketch. Oops. Puppy. You're looking really good. Cool. That's awesome. Or are you talk? If you're talking about Big Salty Pond, thank you. Uh, if you're talking about EJ's windmill, awesome. You need some leaves and stuff. That's nice. That sounds good. <laughs> no worries, no worries at all. Um, it's Big Salty Pond on Instagram. That's probably the one of the better places to read it. Also, um, webtoon.com, but it's um, Big Salty Pond and my other webcomic, Sipping Applesauce, are both on my Patreon. Oh, I didn't even... Oh, I'm awful. I don't think I've set up a Patreon thing yet. What? I have not. Oh, there's the link. Okay, cool. Thanks, CJ. Yeah, over on big uh, patreon.com there's uh, the other one that's sipping applesauce which i do very infrequently but it's essentially whenever i am moved to do moved to do a uh sipping applesauce i do it awesome thanks rebel a and thanks for posting that cj much appreciated delete one and paste that in so we can see all the fishes Speech bubbles for a second as well. Essentially, I don't like. As I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, I sort of regret drawing all of these sucker fish because it is a. Uh, yeah. A bit of a time suck to have to. Uh, redraw them all over the all the time. However, they are necessary to the story. We've got them. Uh. And so I don't want to redraw all the sketches, so I'm basically taking uh, the previous one and... Oh, no, wait, I need to have the speech bubbles back and see where to place these. Okay. Sometimes I'll just change their look flip them and change their location like this for the sketch and like it, they, and as i mentioned before they all get redrawn with the clean line so even though it's some copying sketch wise um yeah even though i'm copying the sketches they it's not going to be a direct the final one's not going to be a direct copy of it because it's a uh, one brain the final trace of it is going to be different every time. I mean, I don't always like to, uh, to do this and repeat. Oops, which layer? Insert the other one. It does feel a bit cheaty, but at the same time, it's uh, it makes it a lot quicker when I've got repeat things like this. Move that lower. Let's turn off magnetics. I've got magnetics and snapping right now, which is a bit annoying. It doesn't allow me to do things subtly. Uh, put down there. And that will take you. And then move you. There next to the speech bubble. Upside down, so we won't do that. We will vertically. Actually, what I should have done is created this is what I did before as well. So, base, 
So we've got all the fish there, and then I'll put this underneath. I think I made that one white last time. We did that whole alpha lock thing I mentioned earlier. Alpha lock. Paint. There we go. I do have to go in and clean that up a tiny bit because I don't like having that big big shark in the middle that throws everything off. Be gone, Meg, be gone. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because whenever these two colors overlap, the black and the white, it sort of creates this sort of partial sketch and so anything that was white I can see oh that was the previous location yeah this was the previous location anything that is just black it's been moved and anything that still has a sort of where the two colors are overlapping I haven't moved them yet so it was uh it allows me to know which ones I haven't moved so I can still keep it a, a little bit fresh and original oh sorry I missed that uh a bit of the chat there, sorry. Have you seen the documentary My Octopus Teacher? No, I have seen the trailer for it, but I've not actually looked it up. Oh, cool. Interesting. Alright, I'll check that out. My teacher the My Octopus Teacher. Cool. Uh alright, no worries, Rabelais. Enjoy the lurk. Appreciate you being here. And then I appreciate you paying attention to the uh, <laughs> the letter the case of my lettering. Sorry, that sounds like something I would uh, be uh, focused on as well. All right, now we've got back to the sketching. This little dude here stole uh, Francis's sunglasses earlier on, so I think it's funny that he's still kicking around. I'm just gonna move this off to the side a little bit so you can see it in the bit of the the window down here, but I guess it's not hugely important. I'm just trying to I need to move it up because every time I try to select the fish. The toolbar down here uh, gets in the way. Um, let's put that one there. I know that'll be. Actually, I think I need to split these up. Oops. Just there. And then you are going to move over here in between the speech poles. There we go, there we go. TJ is lurking as well. Awesome. Uh, stream until 8. <laughs> Yeah, that's the reality there. Just your eyes are probably all bleary from staring at staring at a screen too long, and now you have to look at it with real world problems. Can't just throw some mutton in an in an oven and then expect coal to cook it for you. You got to take care of this yourself. So we need to move. We need to move you. I 
you might place you there. And I'll take this one and uh, I think move it. Oh, I don't know where we should move. Let's move it over here. I think I forgot we've got those white. All these white fish are no longer there, so that's a good spot for it. We will take you as well. You there. Rotate us slightly. I'll do that. I'll steal you. And we will flip you the other way and put you down here. Alright. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Pretty fun one. I was actually it was the first one that I had done. I'm pretty pretty pleased with it. Oh, it does great in fact. Thank you, Fire Pit. I feel like there's a lack of them up here, but I didn't really leave a whole lot of room around the upper part of those speech bubbles. I bet I could always put it here. It means I'm just going to need to move these two. I like the ways these two swim together, so I feel like they should stay a pair. I'll do that, then I'll flip them. Okay, how many more do we have to move? One, two, three, four, eight. About eight more. Let's just take this little dude up here. Dude or dudette. This is a micro fish. All right, sorry, I just have to mini stretch here and take a sip of tea. And I know part of my headache's actually going back to a previous question, Stegosaurus. I have a shoulder injury from a soccer game many years ago, and my head I can sort of feel the tension from my shoulder go up the side of my neck to my head sometimes, so. I'm a wreck. I'm keeping Tylenol and ibuprofen in business. Or whatever the parent companies are that own those medications. Those brands, I should say. And I'll take this one and we'll move it. I'm gonna put it, well, let's put it there. Let's put it right on one past Gillis. Nothing wrong with that. Past. You, actually, let's take you down here for now. We'll flip it. No, we won't. The other one's flipped already. We will take these two. Oh my gosh. Not do that. I'm not sure if there's going to be a raid tonight. Maybe we'll keep an eye out to see if there's anybody we know streaming. And then we'll try that. Hey turtle, welcome! You're watching the first episode of The Mandalorian. With the nice. That's a good show. That's a very good show. I never really grew up. I enjoyed the Star Wars movies when I was younger, but never really grew up as a fan. And my family wasn't crazy fanatical about it um so I, I don't have the huge rush on star wars that a lot of people i know have but still great show really well done better than number one yeah <laughs> doesn't look like any citadel members are alive no <laughs> blasphemy well he's not talking about episode or a new hope he's talking about like the newer or i guess i'd say the the mid series number one the one with the young anakin skywalker and that i must say i concur i'm gonna change 
Patient of this. He's looking a little too happy down there. Horizontally. There we go. And so I have two more fish to move. I believe that is it. Well. So I'm just going to actually flip that one. Move it up a tiny bit, I think. I'm not going to go too complicated with that. And then this one. Let's just move it and rotate it like that. That's pretty good. I mean, it's not like anybody goes by and checks fish by fish is, uh, and notices the similarities. Well, hats off to them. They, um, they are sleuth kings and queens. Yeah, that's what he's talking about, the prequel. <laughs> Blasphemy! So you see, see, CJ, you said the prequels are terrible. So he's talking about episode one. Oh. All right, cool. So we got that figured out now. We can get rid of the inserted images. Really? A lot of fish kicking around. Okay, cool. So that is done. We need to turn up the transparency on the speech bubbles again. And I will need to add just a few more fish in. Oh, uh, sketch. Great. Color change. Pencil change. Each of these remora essentially have a uh, a flat top to their their heads where the suction cup is. So, I mean, there's only so so only so detail I'm going to get with these fish because they're teeny tiny. I don't like the angle of those glasses. Now, wait, what's going on? <gasps> Wrong layer. Oh, we need to merge these two. Right, merge down. I like to keep the name sketching because that's what I'm used to. So I'm going to flip the order of that and then do merge down. There we go. I got, yes, sorry, Terrell. I did get rid of the, uh, just for this art stream. I, I realize I'm going to probably bring, bring them back. I'm just tired and uh, originally thinking that having Igmund narrate this wouldn't exactly be great, but you know, the more I think about it is good. So I could do that next time. Um, eraser. Oh, eraser. There we go. I'm not sure how many more fish we actually need to draw in there. Oh, what was I doing? Right, I was fixing dude's glasses. They look like they're at the wrong angle now. be up and down oh, cool, 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 cool. let's make one go right along crossing right in front of Meg Nope, sorry for the extra noise. I just realized my headphones were creeping along the microphone a little bit. So I've got to figure out the placement a little bit better here, I think. So, I mean, if it sounds good, then that's awesome. I'm just trying to, I was trying to find a way where things were, trying to find a spot where things wouldn't be in the way of each other, but also would allow me to um, lean over the drawing. So essentially there's about, uh, I'd say eight inches between my phone that I just bumped into, sorry, and the screen. And then two inches above that is the microphone. So as I lean in, it's easy to bump. And I, I may change the location of stuffs eventually, but for now, for now, it seems good. Seems good. All right, I guess we don't need to go crazy with extra remori. Cool, all right. Oh, let's erase. 
a little bit of a dress sketch in there. A little Eggman never, that's right. Uh, is this for the new Big Salty Pond? Indeed it is, indeed it is. Because I am behind on it, and I, yeah, that's basically it. And behind on it, I need to get going. All right, so now we're going back to, you. them's all the pages now sketched finally. So now we're gonna do the clean lines. Uh, actually break that down one. Oh, let me switch over to our inking pen. Is that the right size? I believe it is. Let me take sketching and we drop that down. Transparency, about there. And then we just do the careful drawing lines. Sometimes when I've got overlapping shapes and things, I will, like here, and I'll have to erase a bunch of it, but in order to keep I want to keep the curve nice and smooth. Then I'll draw the curve in and just erase parts of it afterwards. That wasn't a great curve. We'll try that again. Move this key. There. No. Oh, that line's a bit of a bump, but it ended up being behind the, the bow anyway, so... We'll be forgiving with that line. Why not? Why make this difficult on ourselves? We'll go bit by bit since a lot of it's hidden anyway. Oops, I'm too high. Oh, and then for the eraser, I usually switch over to the same, the same brush because I've got a it's got a rough texture to the side of it, so that if I erase it as well. It keeps the, the same rough texture, which is kind of nice. If I wanted to just erase a little bit of that and round it out a tiny bit, it has the same tooth to it. Ordering it in and keeping it eat, you know? We haven't ordered in in a long time, and there is something to be said for that. Just even just pizza. You've had a busy, uh, busy streaming day, so you could use a bit of. Actually, is that the right size, or is that what I had for the emote? Six. Hold on, I need to go back to the previous, previous comic. I'm checking line thicknesses here to make sure I'm doing the right one. Three lines. Okay. Nice. Oh, it definitely seems to be a thickness difference. Three lines. Maybe it should be eight. Yeah, some of these are definitely eight. Okay. Cool. We will just trace over what we have. Or actually, let's do it again. Clear. Won't take that long. And tra tracing over will probably take longer trying to stay precise. Let's start. If you order in CJ, what do you think you would order?
one of the things I like, I like about Procreate is that it's pressure sensitive, so you can do thin lines and then press harder and get nice thick and thin like that. Is good. You ordered f ooh fried shrimp. Actually, that has been years since I've had shrimp. <laughs> Fair enough. That's a good point. Why order something that you can cook well? Is actually at that point you may order something, and it may not be as good as you can do on it. So why would you? Why? Why waste your money? Good point. Erase that, erase that. Fair enough, a bit too thick. Another tune by Harris Heller. Well, all right. Tune's coming, Harris. Actually, I should just send him a quick note and say, thanks for the tunes, man, because these are all, these are, he's a, uh, I'm not sure if anyone's ever seen him. He's actually on YouTube. He's the YouTuber Alpha Gaming, Alpha Gaming, I think, Alpha Streaming. Yeah, Alpha Gaming. Gives all kinds of tips to people who are new to streaming and gear they should buy and things like that. So he's a lot of useful information, but he also understands the dilemma of having music when you're streaming. So he's been making a bunch of music specifically free for streamers. But I didn't actually realize that a huge chunk of his library is part of the free set here in the, in the pretzel app. So, um, I'm grateful that is there, and it's actually you know, the channels that I listen to, or the, that I listen to, this stuff comes up the most frequently, so that's pretty neat. So one of the things I would like to do eventually, like far, 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 far down the road, I shouldn't say that far down the road, but once I can sort of make enough money doing this and through Patreon, is I'm going to take all of the stickers and emotes that I've done, and I'm going to create an an iPhone, uh, an iMessage sticker pack, and that way they'd be available all over the place. If you wanted to use them in other apps as well. You're always disappointed by restaurant tuna. <laughs> yes, it's a. Uh... Sometimes expectation, yeah, and that's exactly when it would be much better to uh, not get something that you are a huge fan of and make yourself frequently. I guess I should say make a variation of it that you love. I guess it's so sort of, sort of like going to a restaurant. I guess for me, when I go to a restaurant, I will sometimes try, or I will sometimes try new things, but very rarely. I usually equate a restaurant to a, a meal that I've had there that I really enjoyed. And I will almost, <laughs> I'm gonna say never, but oops, sometimes it feels that way. I will very rarely um, get, get adventurous with meals. Because I've got, I guess my uh, experience, and the, and the reason why I'm bringing it up, it feels like to me, my experience at a restaurant is sort of based on that meal that I had and I loved. And so I have expectations for the other meals. And then I feel like if I, why go for a second meal when I know, or go for a different meal when I know that the one that I had already, I like. Oh, I'm forgetting to put the, the necklace on Meg. So I'll have to remember to do that after. Stickers! Oh yeah. Hey Moon Girl, welcome to the chat. Pleasure to have you there, as always. I reach out to Harris. I'm trying to figure out how I can license slash compose music specifically for streamers while not having it be completely unpaid work. Yeah, so essentially in the Pretzel app, I believe when people subscribe, 
it removes the um as you can see there the in chat um title you can turn that off when you pay and so i think i think he makes money um for people who pay for the pro version of this I mean, don't quote me on that, obviously. He would be the dude to ask. Yeah, he seems... He's... He definitely check, reach out, because he seems to be really keen on helping people and giving them good information, so... That'd be awesome, and, and I'd be... Uh, I would love to hear the music that you've got planned for this. Well, not planned. I obviously don't need to hear it beforehand, but I love the idea of me doing work for streaming that sounds very cool and that'd be pretty neat actually just as a side gig as well so like once you've composed it and released it it could just perpetually make money it's just passive income as soon as you've got the song made and it's available on the radio channels that people are paying for ta-da money a great idea i agree firepith i agree <laughs> Stegosaurus. I'm going to get the most out of this emote today. And I'm just teasing you. I would too. I do that sometimes when I unlock an emote. I use it all the time. And then the, the nice thing about Big Salty Pond, it's like, it's not that I don't care what the line quality is, but nothing is perfect. So these, these rough edges and things like that, I'm not, I don't feel the need to be 100% crazy specific about the line quality. On emotes, I feel like I need to because they um, because they get so small and if the lines are not crisp and they got weird thick and thins, you can actually, you can, it feels like you can really tell at smaller sizes, so. And I will definitely redo lines if they look really wonky, but for the most part, I'm pretty pretty happy to be more relaxed with the line quality here. The thing that usually takes me the longest is um, the sketching. Well, partially the sketching and partially trying to figure out where all the text bubbles are going to go. So this one is pretty easy, single text bubble, always goes to the top, and then I've got the three of them down here. Oops. And then in the other ones, because there's so many remora fish talking, the bits and pieces of the conversation where there's overlapping and all kinds of stuff throughout, so I needed to figure this one out. This one took a while, and with just how tired I've been, it just, it was easy to just go, oh my goodness, I can't deal with this right now, and just sort of move on to something else. Rabelais unlurking. Nice. Welcome back. I'm oh, sorry, CJ, and especially with an electronic piece. Perfect venue to for did. Yeah, exactly. Do you do sort of electronic type music as well? Or are you just talking specifically about the type of stuff that he does? Alright Turtle, have yourself a wonderful night. Thank you again for popping by. Always, always, always a pleasure. And so hopefully um, Big Salty Pond will be done and it won't be it won't be completed for tomorrow, but I hope to have it uh, posted everywhere by next Monday. So keep an eye out for that. Have a good night. So that said, once I get it, I hope to have it posted to Patreon sooner than that. So any patrons usually get it at least 24 hours early, unless something comes up and it has to be posted closer together. But I'm trying, I'm trying, trying, trying to get it done and up on Patreon a, a week earlier for those who pay the $2 tier or above get earlier access to these.
think if you want to avoid being forced out into the dark cold night, I better get my honey honey do stuff done. <laughs> You're off as well. No worries, Rabelais. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful night. And um Oh, we'll be there's a battle tomorrow, in case you didn't hear, between myself. Uh, it's gonna be Cosmic Dancer and I against Alistair and Anna Marie. And it's at six o'clock PM Atlantic time tomorrow. So I'll I'll post it in um in um my discord and i'm sure alistair will post it in his as well uh, make sure to check it out it's going to be a uh, good friend slapping each other with swords <laughs> great have a good 2 p.m your time sweet oh yeah so then i mean if you're not busy awesome if it's in the middle of your work day then that would be a, a bit of a drag but understandable even the uh the video afterward will be fun to watch so it'll be a co-stream so i'll be uh streaming my team cosmic and i and he'll be streaming his team he and Ella and marie so should be fun have a great night Hey Alistair, you're still around. That's awesome. Is he? So is it? Is Megan now in the battle? Or were you showing her for the sake of uh, being a on brain, uh, being the the commentator? All pinning and of the dev. Fair enough. Fair enough. I hadn't realized it was uh, that much of a technical no technical issue today, but that was a fun battle. <laughs> oh, a s unfair armor aside, it was a uh, it was fun. So it might actually take even longer. We can sort out the armor thing or the glitching thing. Oh, I'm not sure if, um, Alistair, I'm not sure if Cosmic told you in chat, but uh, Firepith had the idea of including a chest of swords in the each person, each team's base, just in case you run out of armor, then you can still have an entire chest full of swords to keep the, uh, the battle part of it a little bit more even so that you're not, you don't have people going out into the, you may not have any armor, but at least you're not going in going out and facing people with armor and swords and just trying to punch at them because it becomes very one-sided at that point so i guess the wolves are lurking like a lurker well as nightbot says as long as you're living your best lurking life then then that's what's important But I guess I didn't really mention it last stream. I actually have to make another night nightbot command. So the Citadel is named not necessarily after the Citadel Cafe, but Joel Joel Duggan, who owns the server, also has a podcast that he does called the Citadel Cafe. And as of this Wednesday past, I am now officially a regular guest on his show. So every the first Wednesday of every month. I will be on the Citadel Cafe. It's a podcast, so you can go check that out at thecitadelcafe.com. Again, I don't have a, a Nightbot command set up for it yet, but yeah, pretty happy about that. Oh, I had a couple people sneak back in. It was pretty, uh, kind of nice. Just, uh, it wasn't even on stream. It must have been somebody, uh, maybe Cricket mentioned or, or Joel mentioned or somebody mentioned. Maybe it was when somebody 
plugged or maybe it could have been somebody actually now that i say this if somebody listened to um the citadel cafe i mentioned that i stream on twitch so could have been exactly that A lot of fun. I mean, it's one of those things that I'm, I've podcast, I've gone on the podcast a few times with Joel and and, and Alistair as well, actually. But I uh, still new to it, all things considered. So I'm uh, I'm eager to continue doing it and learning every time I go, or every time I do it. Shall be good. This is why I'm regretting drawing all these remora because <laughs> they take so much darn time. And again, this is when this is with me not even being super careful with the line. So if I was being crazy careful, this would be even more obnoxious. Yeah, CJ, if you get a chance to give it a listen, it's a, uh, it's a uh, basically as Joel describes it. Him getting together with his friends and talking about all the nerdy geeky stuff that they're into so by comparison to most other people that are on there i am uh, neither nerdy nor geeky but i do enjoy i guess enjoy a lot of what is discussed on the podcast usually just not necess necessarily the same depths as other people do so I gotta figure out what my thing is gonna be. Like, what am I gonna bring to it on a regular basis? But I'm a fan of the Marvel movies and stories, so as soon as uh, One Division starts up, we'll have something to talk about for sure. I'm, I'm sure that'll be a part of every Wednesday's topic. Not just with, not just with myself, but Megan's also a regular on his podcast as well, so she'll probably be talking to him as well. But One Division, I shouldn't shouldn't assume if she's into it. But I think it'll be pretty fun. Oh, you listen to every episode. Oh, right on. Pardon me, I'm just taking a little bit of a stretch break from my shoulder. Oh, there we go. Good. A couple, of, <laughs> a couple of little cracks and pops in there, but they felt fantastic, actually. It's funny drawing up this close, everything looks blurry and pixelated and annoys me. But then when you go back to regular size, that's what I mean. So this is basically the size that it'll appear. So I don't have to be crazy diligent on line quality and stuff like that. But I don't want to be negligent on line quality either. It's funny, one of my favorite, which is, I enjoy the entire podcast and the process of doing it, but one of my favorite little things is the the, uh, the minute at the end, the Citadel Minute. What was it called? I forget. Internet Minute, that's right. I feel like that's just a fun way to say, oh, it's been great talking about, about all this stuff, but hey, by the way, there's this neat thing I discovered on the internet the other day. You should go check it out. And that's all it is. Oh, that's a good line. Other than the very, very top. Sometimes I do these lines and it just feels like I should give up on drawing lines. <laughs> that one actually went fairly well. I'm a tad pleased with it. That, cha that chain's not right. Supposed to connect to the top. Fix that. The sketch lies. That is not the way it's supposed to go. I actually got to go see Joel the other, uh, yesterday? No, two days ago. He needed some stuff printed off, so I brought it over to him. It was the first time I'd seen him in a while. It was nice to chat with a human in real life. We're keeping our, uh, our circle pretty tight, so we see family occasionally, but 
otherwise just trying to things on the safe side right now Realizing, realizing now I forgot to carry uh, the white line down, so I need to figure that out. By the white line, I mean uh, I usually sketch in the division line between the white and the gray on the shark's belly, and I just forgot to do that. So, I'm going to podcast do that. Which, oh, nice! I mean, it has added things to my life every once in a while. Very cool. Yeah, I, I know. We Things are pretty good here. We're very lucky here in Nova Scotia, but you get the occasional people who, like, I was walking by this one guy the other day, and I didn't have a mask on because I just wanted to get out and get some fresh air. And he was coming at me, and he had a mask on, but he had it down. So I moved off to the side, and he was just like, why are you moving? We can just walk, but... I don't know, in my mind, the reason why we're doing so well in Nova Scotia is because we'll do things like move out of the way when you're walking by. I think better safe than sorry. Uh, White line comes down. It'll be coming down around the probably. Cool, cool, cool. All right, Meg is done. Move on to fine looking Francis. Positivity rates in your country hit 12%. Holy smokes. In your county. Okay, I thought your country. Like U.S., really that high? 12%, that's still crazy. Yeah, I had a feeling that was... I'm surprised, I should say, so far, pleasantly surprised that our numbers aren't higher. I just assumed that numbers were going to skyrocket after the holidays because everyone would just say, well, we wanted to go see family and stuff. But our uh, cousins and aunts and uncles all got on Zoom this time, which is pretty cool. So we got to chat virtually. We usually have a big party boxing day, but this time we had a virtual boxing day get together, which was really nice. I think over overall it went really well. That's crazy, that 12%. I do not wish that on anyone, but I have to say I'm uh, glad those aren't our numbers. That's 6% before the Thanksgiving. And doubled in about a month. A month and a bit. Wow. <laughs> Stegosaurus. Dark hype! That's true, that is a bit sad, Stegosaurus. But, I mean, if you're using it on other people's channels, then unfortunately we'll be gone in 24 hours. However, you can always come back and then, I mean, I won't be streaming. Well, that's not true, I will be streaming, streaming within 24 hours, so you'll have, you will have it for tomorrow's battle if you're on watching. Then I, I don't think I'm... I'm not sure if I'm going to be streaming Tuesday night or not. It'll depend on how tired I am after tonight. And then working. 
in the battle tomorrow, so we'll see. It's pretty interesting drawing Big Salty Pond this way. I, I am enjoying it, but it's it's odd because I'm oops used to sitting on the couch while I do this, and then I, I will rotate the iPad. Sometimes, like if I wanted to draw it a certain way, I'll just I'll rotate it, or at least lean it back and forth. But doing the stream live, it's sort of keeping the the iPad in one position. Not so bad. It's just uh, takes a bit of getting used to. We go. Uh, it's at six o'clock tomorrow, uh, six p.m. Atlantic. So my street, yeah. So depending on where you're living, um, actually, just one second. There. I'm gonna do a thing. I had done something specifically for Alistair's event. All right, time is. Okay, hold on. Time is. Oh, never mind. It's going to take too long. I'm just going to try to bring it up. But if you go to the the website time dot is, uh, it'll let you know what the it's going to be. But six p.m. Atlantic. Which I guess is, um, what would that be? 6 p.m. Atlantic is 10 p.m. Um, CTM or CMT. No, UTC. What is it? The five for you. We did a test battle today and it was fun. A little bit of glitchiness. Um, otherwise, quite fun, fairly sophisticated. Alistair's done a fantastic job of building this battlefield out, so. I'm, uh, I'm envious of his red skill ability. Red, no, not red skill ability, red stone ability. I knew there was something wrong with that English. This is one of the areas where I'm a little bit more careful because uh, I'd like to try to keep possible Francis's. Oh, I keep forgetting what this is called. I keep wanting to call it a tendril, but I'm not sure if that, I don't think that's the exact word for it. I like to try to keep the, uh, the thickness of the white space in the middle consistent the entire way. Doesn't always work out that way. Cool, it'll be awesome to see you there. And it's going to be a co-stream, so if you, uh, you'll be able to, if you want to bring two screens up at the same time, you'll be able to see my, uh, my stream with my, uh, Teammate Cosmic, and then you can also follow uh, Alistair's channel as well. And so there's his link there. It's, you'll actually be able to see his point of view and my point of view. Which will probably be pretty funny because there was a couple times today we were swinging swords at each other. And then he killed me and then I my inventory exploded all over the place and then and then I actually chased him back to his base and so while he was trying to put the inventory away I slapped him a couple times and his inventory went exploding all over the place so being able to see both points of view would be pretty essentially very entertaining and as of right now Omegan Townsend 
uh, Megan is going to be the um, sort of the commentator as well. So if you watch her her channel, she'll be up on a platform viewing everything because what what would happen otherwise is when it became nighttime, then we we would t potentially have oh my goodness can't talk potentially have mob spawn even though we try to get rid of all of the uh, the dark spots. And so she'll be sleeping when it gets to nighttime, but then she'll also be having a bird's vi bird's eye view of the entire thing. So, again, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, no worries, Stegosaurus. Thank you so much for joining in tonight. Always a pleasure to have you along. Have a wonderful night. And, um, yeah, if we see you tomorrow, that's awesome. If not, that's cool, too. Hope to be back streaming some more Minecraft stuff on this channel on Tuesday at 7.30 Atlantic. So have a great night. And again, always a, always a pleasure to have you. Try to figure out that Stegosaurus drawing, see if we can do an emote for it. And anybody who might be watching this but not actually part of the chat, that's cool. Welcome along. Good to have you here. I uh, I do a, a web comic called Big Salty Pond. Not BAP. <laughs> BSP. Um, and what I'm doing right now is I'm drawing one of the episodes for that that web comic. Not Bang BAP. Exactly. BAP. Even though I don't have any huge story arc planned for Big Salty Pond, every one of them so far has been a continuation off the previous episode, so... These cool cats are dressed... They, they, if you're curious as to why they're dressed the way they are, you'd have to go back and read a couple episodes previous. Web comics also on Instagram at Big Salty Pond. So if Instagram is, if Instagram is your jam, uh -huh. yeah, just go to at Big Salty Pond and you'll be able to catch up on the story there. Or if you like to do a webtoons.com as well, it's up on there. time we always got to keep an eye on that we are at 9 44 oh another 15 minutes and that'll be it for the nights well, well what we'll do is uh even though that's the planned finish time we'll finish finish off the clean lines for this one so even if we go a little bit over i want to make sure we get at least one panel in this episode completely quote unquote inked on Lurk. You brought is let's hope you brought stairs back with them or snack or neither. Oh, I know not what to say to you, young man. Other than welcome back. <laughs> Shame on the. Well, I guess we don't really need snacks because I. Uh... I was making a, I made a bunch of muffins today, actually, a bunch of, uh, what were they? Pumpkin muffins. Yeah. I've got enough snacks for everyone. So come on over. Waiting for the winning game. <laughs> Fair enough. I love that arena, Alistair. I think it's going to be a, a lot of fun. I was talking to um, Frosty, and he said command block wise, you would need. Like I have zero experience with command blocks, so I don't know. But he, so he told. I went to him, and he told me that uh, 
you need to have a separate command block for each each inventory thing. So you, you could basically have it so that looks a little chunky there. Oops, no, 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 don't go away. You would have to say, uh, essentially replace inventory. So it would go through and it would replace whatever's in there with what, whatever you set it up to be. So if it turns out that, um, you know, you wanted the nine swords there and you had three left, it would just replace those three with a full set of nine again. So it may not be entirely practical, but I guess it all depends. In, in the long run, it might be worthwhile, but I guess it depends on how often it's used. Um, that I do not know, actually. Firepith, if you're in the chat, or Frosty, if you're either one of you are there, do you know if command blocks have to be directly connected, or can they just be nearby? Well, there you go. That's uh... a... <laughs> the Firepith knows a little something about that. Uh, generally directly connected, but you can make it work otherwise. Just six more command blocks. Okay. It'd be great if it were possible in a way that doesn't, I guess, complicate the redstone. Like if it has to be connected. Oh, that was a bad curve. Bad curve. All right, let's just do the main, the main stuffs. Yeah. It's funny when I'm doing straight lines, sometimes I hold my breath because I don't want my arm to shake, so I obviously will go quiet in which in those cases because I can't talk with my breath held. And one of the th one of the things I want to get to on drawing streams eventually is to do uh hand drawings of things. This Hilda was a great cartoon series that we watched, and I think that would be a fun one. I would like to both draw Hilda the way Hilda is supposed to be drawn, and then maybe try to draw Hilda in my own style, I guess. I don't know that I have a style other than sort of this angular way that I do drawings and stuff, but Hilda has a very specific look to it that I feel like if I did it in my own style, it may not look super also wolf walkers wolf walkers was a great show great movie highly recommend it stylistically very cool i always say like shows like that i call them like they're visually delicious like they're just so rich and so ah it's just so good yeah we could replace the dispenser interesting That's future Alistair's problem, man. <laughs> Helping Megan with a bunch of stuff, so I had the stream on mute for most of it, but... No, it's all good. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. It's been... It's, um... I have days where I'm very tired, and it feels like it's tedious, but overall, I really en I enjoy working on these comics. So this is, uh... It's been kind of nice to share it on the stream, because it's... It makes it feel like less of a chore trying to fit it in between streams and things. It's like, wow, I could actually just do this and share it with people and actually move it forward. So win, win, win. I may actually end up doing Big Salty Pond uh, fairly regularly on here. You know, this is also a bit of a test just to see how I enjoy doing Big Salty Pond on a stream. I think it is a, it's good. It makes me happy. Just the important thing. Okay, you should have more of a crease on that side. Abstraction. Okay, this this song is by uh, Abstraction. I like a, like their stuff as well. It feels like it's got a good funky funkiness to it. 
maybe not all their stuff, but there's been a couple of songs they went, oh, I like this, and look up, and it's been abstraction. Uh, just have the command block fill the player's inventory, that might be... Command block, yeah. You and Frostburner shared it in the Discord at some point in the future to discuss it properly. Cool. They're smart lads, so they'll be able to help you out with that. King's probably going to end up being pretty good timing on this. We've got eight minutes left. So even if I if I finish this before nine o'clock, we'll end there. Anyways, a good amount of time. curve but it's not going to match up so not a great curve i find when i've been playing uh, minecraft the last little while I, I don't know if it's minecraft specifically but after a while my wrist has been feeling weird so i might have to get a different mouse logitech has a uh, an urban urban urbanomic ergonomic mouse it has your hand sort of on a side on the side so it's the same same button configuration as the one that i have hand down it's just tilted on the side like that so i'm i'm keen to try it because if it'll allow me to do all the things and not have my hand cramp it would be fantastic although in all fairness uh, i should <laughs> see alistair's note there i was just about to say in all fairness i should get that trackpad a go I did change up some of my key commands specifically to uh, to try it out. My problem is that when I'm moving my hand around, I can't stand the fact that it scrolls through my inventory. If I can stop it from scrolling through my inventory, then maybe. Well, actually, if I can get it to scrolling through my inventory, I probably would be able to give it a more serious go. It's just so frustrating. No likey. No likey, Mikey. This face is not okay with that. All right, we just have that. Uh, oh, we've got this as well. I forgot. Be up there, not the side. using too many fingers yeah well that's one of the things i need to do i need to get used to the way you have it where i mean i hit command to or control to select i basically combine a key press with a single finger press problem is i'm using the two fingers to do because i'm used to using two fingers in day to day for con for right clicking but i need to uh basically rethink my remap my brain so that i'm not using the buttons in minecraft the way i would in real life in rl man hashtag trackpad 2020 <laughs> gosh no trackpad 2021 
that's impressive. See, my problem is I wouldn't be able to, or I feel like I wouldn't be able to mentally remember that Minecraft is one way. So if I were to do the trackpad throughout the day, I'd almost want it to be basically whatever I'm training my brain to do throughout the day. I would like it to be the same all the times. mindset for the control yeah that's a w w a s d yeah it's w a s d is one of the things i could not do and i still find it difficult like um, i'll start pressing the cap locks key or the f key by mistake and it's just minecraft is the first keyboard game i've always been more of a well we were a nintendo family growing up so it was only ever a nintendo controller player really and anytime I tried to play a game that used a computer keyboard, I was garbage at it. Just awful. And so I really enjoy Minecraft, obviously. So I've been I had to basically just shut up and get used to it. Fine for Apple, depending on which keyboard you're using, it can be difficult anyway. The uh, had a smaller, the narrower keyboard for a while there, and the, the up, down, left, right arrows were a different shape than usual, and it was kind of very difficult to uh, locate them. Whereas the previous version, with the they were all smaller, so it felt different. It was a lot easier to find. I like the I like the keyboards quite a bit, but that kept throwing me off. All right, almost done the hair. It was a drag to draw this episode out because of all the remora, but I just have to get... It's so tedious to draw them that this episode needs to happen in order to get rid of all the remora. So the remora will be no mora. Hilarious! Give this man a cookie. I'm not sure how y'all do the keyboard in Minecraft. Yeah, see, part of me would love to try Minecraft with an actual console control console controller. Like on a Switch or something. I, I wonder if it would be easier, or now that I'm used to it, it would be more more difficult. I, f I find the, uh, the touchscreen difficult because there's no tactile feedback, because it's just, just a flat screen. I mean, I get it if you're used to it, then that's fantastic, but for me, it's all about, I need to feel the buttons. Oh, there's my watch telling me it is 10 o'clock. So we're pretty close to uh, with three or four more fish here and we are, we're done, not bad. I gotta say, my head is pretty, my brain is pretty tired right now since the headache is, day two of the headache, this thing's still kicking around, it's obnoxious, so I forget who it was, somebody asked about a raid earlier, but I might just not do that because I feel like it's good manners to hang around a bit afterwards, but I've, I haven't the brain power. I think it might have been Stegosaurus who asked it earlier.
Ooh, well, actually, I need to draw the sketch line in for the the white line there. So. That is that. Cool. All right. First, we're going to leave it at that. So thank you all very, very much for joining in today. That has been a Sunday edition of streaming with... <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, oh, actually, I missed a couple of questions there. Comments. I remember how difficult it was to move WASD. Yeah. It could be. I think I played in an office that played... Um, I don't know if it's... Excuse me, Quake. But it was definitely the uh, a first person shooter game, and I'm not used to those. So it was uh, it was tough. When you drew the first one, was there any challenge, difficulty in choosing the right line thickness to use? Um, uh, I don't remember actually. I was just the the intent was just to do this six panel thing as a one off gag, and I wasn't looking to make it. I wasn't worried about it being too too consistent. It was just more of a. Oh, thank you. At least with the way it's coming along. So it was more of a, I wanted to get it done and have the joke out there to share with our, our fellow, our colleague, who uh, I guess the banter back and forth between the two of us sort of inspired this. But yeah, I know I'm uh, pretty, pretty, pretty pleased with uh, the way it's evolved. I, I do want to at some point go back and redraw the first ones because, I mean, who knows when I've got hundreds of these down the road, it might be fun to put them all into a book at some point. So... But as Alistair likes to say, that's a future Stevens problem. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you all being here. It's been uh, been fun. Yeah, I these drawing streams, they keep me moving forward with drawing projects that I've been putting off. And they're really nice and relaxing. So it's a great way to start, uh, finish off the weekend and get ready for the following day. Um, have yourselves a great, great night. And yeah, I guess we'll catch you next time. So I guess since I'm able to do this, if... Twitter is your thing. I'm over there at Steven ESC. Um, so all of these videos get posted there after the fact. Um, let's put this up as the final image. Do that. Uh, wait, four tap, four tap. There we go. That's going to be episode 24 up soon. So essentially, um, no, we're not ready tonight, Alistair, so I've got a tired brain, and as I was mentioning, I, I feel like it's good etiquette to hang out in the, the other place for a while, and I don't have the brain power for that, so... Yeah, not tonight. However, we will be tomorrow, uh, battling tomorrow, again, remember, 6 o'clock p.m. Atlantic time. Alistair and I are going to be facing off with our teammates, so it's Cosmic and I versus Alistair and Anna Marie. A co-stream, so you'll be able to get both of our point of view, so make sure you... Um, Tune into both of us. I'll put Alistair up there again. Alistair. Boom. So make sure you click on his URL and uh, that you're following along. And we'll we'll make sure that this battle is uh, one for the ages. All right, everyone. Thank you so, so much. Have yourself a wonderful night. And we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.